Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So a while ago, I did a video about the whole Genie and Jeezy situation. I did not want to talk about this because, you know, I'm not ashamed to admit that I was hurt. I was hurt and I was disappointed by this whole entire divorce situation. But I was also very upset with Jeezy for the way that he went about it. And I, I just, I just knew. I had a gut feeling. Okay, call it whatever you want, but I had a feeling that he was going to get what's coming to him and I did say in my previous video that I don't think that Jeannie I don't believe that Jeannie married Jeezy for money I did not believe that and I stand on that but Jeezy Jeezy out here was so wrong for how he did my girl he was so wrong for what he did for the way he went about the divorce and then he tried to like insinuate that Jeannie, you know, committed adultery or it was because of Jeannie's mouth and, and all that stuff that like the public was running, was running with and like he wasn't speaking on. And then he went and did a video with Nia Long saying that Will and Will don't cheat and all that good stuff. Yeah, please miss me with the BS. There's nothing real about you, sir. Okay, because a real whatever you call yourself, don't go about divorcing, like about ending the relationship ending a relationship with the mother of their child the way that you did with Jeannie or any of your previous baby mamas for that matter. Jeezy is a lying, manipulative, gaslighting, narcissistic person. I didn't know anything about the dude, but when he did what he did, I just instantly knew something was off about him. I knew something was off about him. When I was like following their relationship, I was really looking at the relationship from Jeannie's viewpoint. I wasn't really paying attention to Jeezy. Because like I say, I don't know the dude, don't care for him. I was just, you know, very happy and excited for Jeannie. However, after he did what he did, I was done with him. And I knew, I knew, I told you, if y'all haven't seen this video, I will link it down below. I will link it up here. But I told you, I was not worried about Jeannie. I knew Jeannie was hurt because going through a breakup is really painful especially a divorce where a child is involved that is very painful and it's very difficult and it's complicated so i knew homegirl was hurting especially when jeezy's sneaky behind blindsided her with that divorce i knew she was hurting but i also knew i said it i was like i am not worried about genie genie will be okay genie has been through some stuff genie is built for certain situations in this life she's overcome so much i am not worried for genie yes she's hurting but i knew she was gonna come out on top and i knew she was gonna pick herself back up and she was gonna keep going genie's from the bay area genie survived in the bay area as a teenager so i was not worried about genie but Jeezy put that narrative out there that Jeannie may have been cheating or whatever when he knew exactly that Jeannie didn't do no such thing. Because the thing is, they have a clause in their prenup that if either one of them cheated and like it could be like emotionally, um, you know, texting, sexting, FaceTiming, like you name it. If there's like any emotional involvement with another creature, <laughs> with another party, right? One of them was going to have to pay up. So when Jeezy filed for divorce, he did not mention no part of that clause that he wanted to, he wanted reinforced. Because if Jeannie had cheated, then Jeezy would have been so sure. Jeezy would have been so sure to make sure that he requested that that clause be reinforced. But he didn't do any of that. He didn't do any of that. Instead, he let the narrative run that she cheated or that she couldn't control her mouth. And that's why, you know, he's divorcing her, blah, 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 like disrespectful family. Like he let all the narrative run. Meanwhile, Jean was very quiet and she was watching everything un unfold. When I tell y'all, side notes, I know these people are celebrities and I don't know them, but I, I like me. I like me some Jeannie, right? When I saw Jeannie come out that one day her very first post on Instagram since the whole thing when I tell you I had tears I had tears I blubbered like a baby okay I was crying so much because I was so happy for her I don't think you understand I don't think you understand I love me some Jeannie and I am so glad I am so glad she never stopped working this man this man did her wrong and now he's also trying to come with the atombat. Jeannie gatekeeping the daughter sir 
You've been everywhere doing you while this woman was taking this kid everywhere with her. Jeezy has been on tours and Jeannie has been, you know, going everywhere with Monaco. I don't know what their arrangement was when it came to the child and them working. Like who was going to like take the baby where? Like, I don't know what they had in place, but Jeannie had to go everywhere with that baby because both of you were working, but she had family members with her that could travel with her. So I just assume that's why she, you know, she always was with Monaco or whatever because mom was with her, her brother, um, her brother was with her. She probably had a nanny. I don't know. I'm not sure. But as the mom, like as a mom, I would not send <laughs> if both me and my husband are working and we have to be away from each other and like we have to travel for work I would travel with my kids I would always travel with my kids it's not because you know I think that my husband is going to neglect or harm them but as a mom I don't have it in me to like let you go with the child you can meet meet up with me and you can see the child but as far as you taking the child on tour with you while I'm away on tour as well I can't do that a lot of us moms can't do that so I assume that's why Jeez, that's why Jeannie was taking Monaco with her because she's the mom she helped she probably was breastfeeding and all that good stuff so how the heck was Jeezy supposed to take the baby with him to do what now he's accusing Jeannie of gatekeeping because he don't got a leg to stand on I hope that he gets like Jeannie gets all of it and now I'm here for Jeannie to get the money get all all of it. Jeannie is wanting that clause in their divorce to be reinforced because it allegedly, allegedly she has receipts that Jeezy done did some stuff, okay, that violates that clause in their prenup. Okay, it says the lawyer writes, wife reserves the right to amend this counterclaim to add other grounds for divorce, which wife does not wish to specify here and at this time in the hope this matter can be resolved without having to disclose such conduct publicly. So Jeannie is hoping to not have to spill all this tea if they can figure themselves out with the court and situate themselves. But in the event that Jeezy puts up a fight, she intends unpublicly disclose this information. To continue, it says, Why further shows that the court should enforce paragraph 8 of the prenup agreement regarding infidelity, which provides in pertinent part that in the event that either party engages in sexual relations, an emotional relationship or is emotionally or sexually suggestive in communication with a third party via all forms of electronic communications, including but not limited to texting, sexting, FaceTiming, social media, and or direct messages shall result in a significant financial penalty upon the adulterous party. So Jeannie is insinuating that Jeezy may have done some stuff allegedly okay that she got three seats for she got the receipts for that stuff and if Jizzy does not want to cuff up that money basically then she will have to provide said receipts now Jizzy can talk his little tail and pay up what he needs to pay up based on that that prenup agreement and if he does not want to then they will have to battle it out battle it out in court where Jeannie will then have to provide all this document she would have to bring forth all the receipts that'll prove that Jeezy needs to pay up that money. I am not mad at her. I am happy for her. This is good news. This is good news because I was sitting here. I was salty. I did not know what Jeannie was going to do. I was like, Jeannie's not doing anything. Jeannie's just moving on. Listen, I was happy for her. She was moving on with her life. That's great. You know, she's moving on with her life, taking her, taking care of her daughter. But I just felt like, I just felt slighted for her, right? I wanted her to do something. I don't know. I was angry for Jeannie, but I was also happy that she was going about this very gracefully. But now that this information is like coming up, I am excited for her. I need Jeezy to pay up because that was disrespectful. That was mean. That was cruel. That was very narcissistic of him. He is a gaslighting, manipulating narcissistic egomaniac loser that's what he is i feel okay calling him that 
because he has a track record of doing that to other women and he just got the right one this time he just got the right one this time genie is not the one the two or the three and i am i am here for it i am here for it at some point in time these people do too much okay jeezy done did too much and it's about time that somebody stopped him and i'm just so glad that it was genie i wish he didn't have to go that way but you know jeezy made his bed so i'm happy i'm excited i can't wait to see how this whole thing unfolds but either way this goes i know genie's gonna be okay i'm not worried about her not one bit anyways let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section as always thank you guys so much for watching and please 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 don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one but until then i hope to see you in the comment section bye